Whether you're hosting or a guest, Thanksgiving can be stressful, from cooking mishaps to spills and cleanup. But with some planning, it can be worry-free. When it comes to cleaning, focus on rooms where guests will be spending the majority of their time. Start in the kitchen. That's where you're going to spend a lot of your time. Just a quick wipe down of the counters, maybe a quick dusting of the living room if everybody's sitting around in there. Maybe you have the TV is on, you're watching the parade or some football. No need to panic over spills. A tip from Real Simple magazine, use salt or shaving cream to remove stains from drinks like red wine from your carpet or shirt. Have your stain um, treatment center, like at the edge of the kitchen island. Everything you need to treat stains is somewhere in your house already. Still stumped on how to prep that bird? Turkey talk line company. It's not too late to call the Butterball Turkey Talk Line. We can walk you through from taking your turkey, what looks like this out of the package, into something that looks like this in front of me, which is, by the way, a real turkey, cooked to perfection. To avoid a foul main dish, use a meat thermometer to test and see if the turkey's ready to eat. And remember, 170 degrees in the breast, top of the turkey here, and 180 degrees in the thigh between the leg and the body of the turkey for optimum eating quality and food safety. How to carve a roast turkey just in time for Thanksgiving. When you're ready to carve and serve it, check out tutorials on social media or YouTube for advice. With the oven working overtime, remember to use some countertop appliances to prepare your sides. You can use your Instapot to keep, um, you can put it on saute setting and it'll keep the gravy warm or keep some vegetables warm for you. Of course, the microwave can keep things warm for you. You can use uh, the air fryer to warm the rolls. A big highlight this holiday. My Thanksgiving <laughs> leftover sandwich. I can't believe someone just ate it. Enjoying leftovers. Have that pie for breakfast on Friday and Saturday. From shepherd's pie to sweet potato pancakes, Erin Chase shares ways to transform extra turkey and sides on her $5 dinners blog. One of my favorites with turkey is like a slider or a grilled cheese even. You're going to do thin slices of turkey, maybe a little cranberry sauce, a little stuffing even. Set up a leftover station and have your guests help themselves. Consider sending extra food home with guests using a disposable cupcake tin. You just put a thing in each of the little cups and everyone gets the right amount and you sort of send them out the door. And don't be afraid to ask for some help. I cannot express enough how important delegation is when you're hosting a big uh, holiday affair like this. Get everybody working. They want to help you. They all have their special skills. Put them to the test. For today, Vicki Nguyen, NBC News. Love, love that cupcake tin hack. It's a great, I don't know how we haven't thought about that I before. Know. Well, are you going to make your world famous Brussels sprouts? I'm going sprouts? to make my world famous Brussels sprouts secret recipe. Tomorrow? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. <laughs> if you're in Kansas, stop by Chanel's place. I don't have what Dylan has. No. I mean, you know, with the, the whole spread no. planned out. 17 oh, people headed over to Dylan Dreyer's <laughs> house.